Naira redesigning. Buhari messed up. Nothing else saying. We got here because President Muhammadu Buhari has messed up to have allowed this type of fiasco to exist on the eve of an election when you are campaigning to have your own party voted for. Well, still on the Naira redesign issue, it seems a lot of people um, are not finding it very funny. Now, we see that um, the Northern Elders Forum have spoken out um, saying that um, the Naira redesigning is one of the biggest um, demarketing strategy against the all progressive um, Congress. And then we see that um, the all progressive Congress as a party have been the ones actually speaking up um, against this Naira policy of late. And then um, we can see that they actually know that it works against them as a party, being the fact that um, the president, Muhammadu Buhari led administration, um, is the one in power right now. And the APC are the ones campaigning. They are also campaigning for power. And they feel that uh, Nigerians um, will actually look at this as an avenue, as a way not to vote for them, since it's this same party that is causing the issues um, that they are facing. We see the APC um, campaign deputy director of um, the PCC of the Presidential Campaign Council still reaching out um, in a previous report to Nigerians saying that they must stand up to um, President Muhammadu Buhari for the Naira redesign issue. We see some of the APC governors who have actually still stood up to the president and going as far as um, going to the Supreme Court to ask the Supreme Court um, to pray against the deadline, the 10th of February deadline. And then we see all of these issues that have been coming out. We see that the APC as a party is not happy with the president's decision. And now we see the Northern Elders. The Northern Elders have still come up on this Naira redesign issue. And um, like they said, they believe that the president has messed up and um, this shouldn't have been allowed to happen on the eve of an election, especially when you are campaigning to have your own party voted back into um, power. Well, before we go into the details of um, today's report in full, we'd like to say a very big welcome to each and every one of you. Now, if you are joining us for the very first time, please do well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Now, to all of our existing um, subscribers, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our post as they come your way. Um, thank you and God bless you. Now, into the details of um, today's report. It says, Naira redesigning, Buhari messed up, the Northern Elder Sea. Now, the spokesperson of the Northern Elders Forum, NEF, Akin Baba Hamed, has described the redesigning of the Naira as the biggest demarketing strategy against the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. Mr. Ahmed said this on Tuesday during an interview on Channels TV stating that Mr. Buhari had messed up. The Northern Elders Forum official said that the administration, as in the past couple of weeks, destroyed the informal sector with the Naira scarcity. He stated that the hardship caused by the policy is demarketing the ruling party in the northern part of the country. He stated that the worst enemy of the APC could not have picked a better demarketing strategy against the ruling party. According to him, it appears that President Muhammadu Buhari is not listening to anybody, even though he could end the fiasco by allowing the two currencies to operate side by side. We got here because President Muhammad Buhari has messed up to have allowed this type of fiasco to exist 
on the eve of an election when you are campaigning to have your party voted for. This money thing is a major demarketing strategy for the All Progressives Congress. If the worst enemy of the APC had designed a strategy for them to lose the election, he could not have picked a better strategy than this fiasco on redesigning the Naira. Their own people are saying it was designed to make Tinubu lose. The governor said this was designed to make him Tinubu lose. The candidate himself has said that the policy was made to make him lose. People are starving, literally. People are starving. There is no money. In four weeks, you have destroyed the informal sector of the economy in one fell swoop because there is no money, there is no cash. Literally, there is a lot of anger to see a situation where the president either appears unwilling or incapable of reining him, Godwin Emefiele, by saying, listen, there are two options. We can have the two running in the next six months, he said. Mr. Buari had, after a meeting with some governors of the ruling party, said that it should be given seven days to take action on the scarcity of the bank notes. He has yet to do so over 10 days after he made the pledge. Last week, the president convened a meeting of the Council of State and the council resolved that the central bank should aggressively print and circulate more Naira notes. Equally, there is a substantive order by the Supreme Court that mandated the federal government to suspend the deadline of February the 10th, pending the decision on the suit filed by the governors of Kogi, Kaduna, and Zamfara states. However, Mr. Emefiele has disregarded the order of the Supreme Court as he announced that the 10th of February deadline stands. The court is set to hear the argument of the two sides on February the 15th. Now, speaking on the presidential race, Mr. Ahmed said that the NEF is still looking at all the major front runners and it will make its decision in no time. He said the forum will make his decision putting the interest of the North ahead of all others. He stated that the North will not be bullied by those calling for power to shift to the South. Our position has always been consistent. This rotation thing is a PDP gimmick, which they never respected. The power belongs to where the voters are, and it goes to the candidates that get the most votes. We have votes in the North, and we have candidates. The country needs a leader that can hold it together and unite it. We are looking at the value of the people. We are looking at the caliber of the people. We are not looking at the language. We are not impressed and we are not intimidated. We will not vote for a candidate just because his supporters use certain language. What that does is that it demarcates the candidates. We have gone past that. Well, that is it on the details of today's report. Until we come your way next time, please do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.